For nearly four hours on Tuesday, the Mono supervisors held a discussion on June Mountain, the Mammoth Mountain land trade, and a letter proposed to go to Mono County's congressional delegation. In the midst of it all, Mammoth Mountain CEO Rusty Gregory introduced his new management team. Supervisor Tim Alpers had come up with a letter that he proposed the board send to Senators Feinstein and Boxer and to Congressmen Paul Cook and Buck McKeon. The letter described the importance of support for an overall recreation corridor year-round in the Eastern Sierra, including both Mammoth and June Mountains. Of course, this all came out of the closure of June Mountain. Citizens had tried to hold up Mammoth Mountain's trade of land at the main lodge to pressure Gregory to reopen and improve June Mountain. In fact, Congressman Cook had issued a letter, according to citizens, that said he would delay legislation on that land trade. Tim Alper's letter, though, offered support to the land trade, but also a regional plan for the success of June Lake and its mountain. Rusty Gregory stood up to say the land trade had started long ago. He said only one thing changed, closure of June Mountain and, quote, the tremendous acrimony that surrounds that. He said the changes at Mammoth Mountain he had hinted at earlier may have caused some concern about his commitment to reopen June Mountain. Gregory then turned to his new leadership team to show he was still on track with June Mountain. Gregory said, quote, I will continue as the CEO and an owner. He said he would focus on bringing to the company the capital required and move out of the economic difficulties of the recent past. He first introduced Greg Dallas as the new chief operation officer. Dallas, a longtime management employee of the mountain. Ron Cohen will serve as company administrative officer. Mark Claussen is chief financial officer. Eric Forsell has the job of chief marketing officer. One position remains vacant, that of chief operations officer of hospitality. Gregory underscored for the packed house the bad drought years and disastrous economic meltdown that hit everyone. He said Mammoth needs to market June Mountain better, focus on families and the community. He said the company will give June Lake more resources. He said the new COO, Greg Dallas, would work to stretch overhead farther and stretch Mammoth resources to June. Dallas himself said that Gregory gave the new team the power to position Mammoth Mountain in support of June Mountain. He said many resorts have multiple ski areas. Dallas said, quote, I have the ability to do efficiencies that have never happened before. There has never been this kind of synergy. That's how we will get profitable and grow June. Dallas said Carl Williams will remain general manager of June Mountain, and Julie Brown, formerly of Mammoth Mountain, will head guest experiences at June. Abigail Ross will continue to handle sales and marketing. Gregory said it is hoped that, quote, we are heading in the right direction with June. At the same time, he pushed hard for support of the Main Lodge land trade. In the end, the Mono supervisors voted unanimously to send Tim Alper's letter and another brief letter supporting the land trade. They'll send them to Mono's federal legislators. The documents will come back for final approval at the supervisors' first meeting in July. And we'll have more from this information-packed meeting on later broadcasts. And in Inyo Court, around 10.30 on June 13th, Inyo Sheriff's deputies responded to a call in the Wilkerson Ranch area. Officers said they determined that a suspect had fired at least one shot at a victim inside a home. The suspect, Scott Chad Smith, 40, of Bishop, was found the next day arrested and jailed for attempted murder. He appeared for an arraignment in Inyo Superior Court on Tuesday. He was charged with three felonies and a misdemeanor. According to the court, Smith faces felony assault with a firearm and a felony charge of possessing a firearm after having been convicted in the last 10 years of domestic violence. He faces felony discharge of a firearm at an inhabited dwelling, and Smith
Smith was charged with misdemeanor domestic violence on a person with a dating relationship or a cohabitant. The court said Smith's initial $500,000 bail was reduced to $280,000. At last word, Smith was still in custody at the Inyo County Jail. He is scheduled to appear for a settlement conference on June 25th and a preliminary hearing July 2nd. And around 6 p.m. Tuesday evening, Mammoth Police and Mammoth Fire Department responded to a report of a major gas line severed in the area of Trail Subdivision and Meridian Boulevard. Authorities were searching for the exact location of the gas line cut. Officials on scene said it appeared that work by the Digital 395 crew had led to the problem. Mammoth police blocked Meridian Boulevard, going out of Mammoth for about three hours. The smell of propane was strong in the air at first, although strong winds diminished that odor. Although officials considered it, they did not evacuate the trail's neighborhood. Firefighters and others just searched for the point of the problem. Mammoth Fire Chief Brent Harper confirmed that a digital 395 crew had called Amerigas before digging. The gas company crew marked the line, but the crew did sever a four-inch gas line that, when discovered, was repaired. Chief Harper said the town, which provides permits to Digital 395, and the fire department are working together to investigate what happened and if the gas line was correctly marked. More news after this.